it's so noisy in the background. But we're gonna be doing a new video with this little baby gecko. Where his little eyes are closed because it's too bright. He's not that's too bright. That's too bright. See? He's an albino too. An albino fancy toed leopard gecko. You are pretty. He is very, very nice. So Oh my god, I want to have to jump you like woo because they can survive like really high falls. So yeah. Are you having fun? He, I don't even know how old he is, but he's kind of big. Uh, if you will stay. Here, there we go. His tail, it's not that fat, but it's fat. It's good enough. You are a very pretty gecko, aren't you? A very pretty gecko? He's not shed yet with me, so. Um, he's just, you know, chilling. I'm chilling, baby gecko. You like, boop, 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 boops, boop, boop, <laughs> you got some boops, did you get some boops, did you get some boops, oh, you like, no, he's like, did you get some boops, no, <laughs> it's so funny, you are so adorable, um, so I got him July 2nd, so it's his birthday, so, yes, you are very pretty. Hey. He's actually an albino fancy toad, like I said, I they are very, very pretty. The reason how I know he's an albino is his eyes are red, and when their eyes are red, they are an albino. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he is a very cute. So, I'm going to be sharing no, some things right. that you do um, not need to do with your leopard gecko. But yeah, no, I, mean, I made it just, in some of my, it, my, it other, my other video with um, my other different leopard gecko that died. He was four years old. Concert, so, yeah. Do, He's know, pretty blood, too. Blood, yeah. blood, blood, you again. Like you know, you're so cute. Right. He, he loves head rubs. Look, you can see. He loves it. Do you like books? I just recorded. I gave him a boot. Okay, so things that you do not want to do with your leopard gecko. One is I may have shared this already with you, but you do not want to grab them by your tail. That could actually make them lose their tail and you could lose your gecko. One thing is you do not want to. The second thing is you do not want to leave shed on their toes because then it'll build up and it is very very hard to get off. I've had that problem before. But it was like, it's so hard to you have to peel it off. Like, I usually wait like three or four days for like to see if it'll come off. And so it doesn't come off. And I just I have to put in water, get it off. And then I put it back in the cage. But one thing you don't want to do with them is, like I said, don't leave the shed on their toes. Because if, if it builds up, then it is very bad. Honestly... They could, it could cut their circulation off and they could lose your toes. So you do not want to do that. And so things that your leopard gecko might have is like a sickness is metabolic bone disease, which is a disease where their bones are very weak and they will not move really. He does not have that. He is very, very healthy. I got him at PetSmart and all of them, their tails were fat except one. I think one had a mouth infection. So. Yeah. Yes, so one thing you don't want to do with your leopard gecko is what I did, this is what I personally did with my other leopard gecko is, I did not clean his mat, the reptile mat. You have to clean it every week, but I did not do that. Now I'm doing it with this little boy. He is five days old, and he will amazing. Like, who knows how old he was at PetSmart, but I've had him for five days, so. Yeah, he's been really, really good. He, I call him pumpkin spice latte, but I call him latte for short because do, he's orange. Doesn't he look like a pumpkin spice latte? Like, I'm serious. They're all like, that's too long. I'm like, fine, fine I'll call him latte. <laughs> and so something else you don't want to do with your gecko is if your gecko starts to make noises, like they start making noises, you want to stop picking them up. Just like, give them a second to reset. <laughs> give it a second to you know calm down don't be like and so they're making that noise as you're like trying to and just pick them up when they make that noise they go 
and your or body one of those noises so just like sit, let them sit for a minute and then pick, pick them up slowly how you pick your little ridiculous i'm not going to pick him up because he's being still right now and uh, i don't want him to be like <laughs> it's so funny because he's like so adorable but so crazy at the same time um, and I'm also going to teach you, this might be like a little weird, but how you know if you're a girl, girl or a boy is, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. So how you know if it's a girl or a boy, you're going to hate this, but it's okay. See, he didn't make a noise. So how you know if it's a girl or a boy is, oh my goodness, you're, <laughs> you don't like it, don't you? You don't, you don't like it. You don't like it. So you have to like be really gentle with them when you're picking them up like that. Because if, if they shake like that, then you need to let like, go of them. So how do you know if it's a girl or a boy? Because if, if you look right here, see there's two bulges. And that means it's a boy. But if it's a girl, it has a V. So, and it looks like this. It's an upside, it's going upside down V. I don't even know, I've seen it. But that's how you know if it's a girl or a boy. This is personally a boy. So I call him Latte because he's a boy and like you could maybe name a girl that I just don't know because Latte is kind of a girl name like, but it's pumpkin spice so I mean some girls are named like Spike <laughs> that just came out of my mind I'm just like Spike <laughs> so and another thing you don't want to do with them is you don't want to overfeed them I mean, it is pretty good to overfeed them, but if you overfeed them too much, they and you don't have like a heating mat or anything, they could actually die because they get so bloated. They like they can't digest it because they don't have anything to like. They have to have warmth to digest it. Like I have a heating pad for him, a Zoomed map. It is really good. I, re I recommend Zoomed. It is a very, 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 very good type of mat. They have heating mats. They have, um, what is it called? Eco Earth. They have so many things that I have bought from there. Um, they are just so good. Like, the best brand that I've ever had. Like, when they, I was really surprised when it said under the, under the tank heating mat. And, and it, it actually pretty much worked. Uh, and it heats up the side of the glass, too. So it really helps with that. And so Zoomed Zoo is a definitely a good brand. I bought it at PetSmart. Everybody, I know everybody's like, PetSmart, PetSmart does this, like, PetSmart does like, that. Like, they do, you know, hurt a few like of their animals. But like to be sure, I was looking at all the animals. And I was looking at all the leopard geckos, and they were pretty much all healthy. Like, there was one that was sick. That's it. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to boop you, dear boy. I didn't mean to boop you. So, like, you don't, like, they're, pr they're pretty good. I mean, I was just looking at the leopard geckos, and they were pretty much healthy. Like I just said. <laughs> Are you chill now? You chill? <laughs> So, that's a very good thing about PetSmart, but, I mean, pretty much yeah. he's been, yeah. all right, he's been a little booping, Boop. and it was sad because my leopard gecko died, literally, almost right after his birthday, so, the, the cool thing about him is he has, like, one splotch of orange, here, if you can kind of see it, there's like a splotch right here, and then there's like one dot that's covered with orange on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right here. Hopefully you don't drop your tail. It's right there. You can see it. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. That is like a really, really helpful thing. How was that help? <laughs> it's also really, really easy to... This is a beginner pet for anything. They are much, I mean, they're easy to take care of, but babies, you have to feed them every day. Adults, you feed them almost every week, but he is just being a go, go away. I have so many pictures of him. He's so adorable. I have a picture of him. He's just, it's so adorable. There's a, I was watching him. Are you going to go right there? No, we're not going right there. Um, I had a, I have a picture of him where he's up in his little mat. Or his little like spot that he likes to chill where the heating mat is, and he absolutely loves it. What about the and how he, I took a picture of him and he was like, <laughs> he was so cute. Okay, can, can we can we get off my arm? 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, he's just been chilling. I mean, and another thing you don't want to do for a pre gecko is if they, if you think they're sick and you can tell that they're sick, take them to the vet. Because I did the same thing. I couldn't tell that he was sick. And so I didn't oh, take thanks. it to the I vet. Appreciate it. You're sweet. Yeah, I just kind of woke up in a funk, but I was just kind of like, I've been taking it easy, like you said. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to Oh, are you going to curl on the mat now? Is that fun? So, I'm not letting you go, but. Um, we're just going to go. Here, come here. Come here. Okay. Nice. I know. I'm so, this yeah, I just wanted to talk to you all about a few things. Do you not, do you not want to do with your local gecko? So, yeah. Bye.